Hi everyone, it's Mr. Greg. I haven't seen you in a little while, so I thought I'd read another story for you today. This one is called In the Red Canoe. Let's get started. I like to go in the red canoe. I sit low in the bow. I can paddle by myself. My grandpa taught me how. We don't say much, we mostly look. He shows me everything. The watery world goes sliding by. Our paddles dip and swing. He points out trees that beavers chew. He knows just where they go. Their lodges heaped up by the shore with tunnels deep below. When swimming round the red canoe are schools of fishy fry. Grandpa holds me while I lean to catch them flashing by. We paddle up to baby ducks who quickly turn around. They motorboat their little legs and make a splashy sound. Green lily pads like floating hearts hold yellow flowers up and dragonflies with shining wings rest on their petal cups. We find a place to hunt for frogs, a secret muddy beach. How do they always know to stay just one hop out of reach? Osprey's wings beat like a fan. She circles, then she stops. Grandpa and I, we hold our breath when, in a flash, she drops. Her mighty talons grip a fish. We laugh to see her rise. Water droplets, soaring bird, and slippery silver prize. Sunset time is swallow hour, we drift along the shore. First one, then two, swoop overhead, then more and more and more. I love to watch the swallows dance, my head on grandpa's knee. In my dreams I fly with them, do swallows dream of me? Sometimes we paddle in the dark on still and starlit nights. A lantern sits upon the bow, the lake of million lights. Gentle waves, a loon's wild call, we rock and dream and float. I shiver right down to my bones, there's magic near our boat. I wish upon the shining moon that there will always be Grandpa and the red canoe, soft summer nights. And me. That's the end of our story everyone. Hope to see you soon.